Hey everybody, so today I'm going to teach you how to install custom maps and skins on Anarchy Online, both on the standalone new engine and old engine client, as well as the Steam client are completely compatible with this. By the way, I just want to let you know, if you're using the Steam client, it is considered the old engine. So if you want to try out the new engine, I do highly recommend it. I'll even tell you a couple of settings that will probably prevent it from crashing often on you as well while we do this video. I have two links in the description and in the comments stickied. Uh, I have one to show you the download page for Anarchy Online. So you got the new engine here where you can download it. Basically, you download it, you install it. You're going to have to patch it. So when you launch it, there'll be the patch. It will take a lot of patches. Like, don't expect to play it in five minutes. Even with my internet being super fast, it's a very slow process. Probably took like 15, 20 minutes. So. I just wanted to let you know it's a very long patching system. Basically, they have not updated the installer in recent times. We're on Steam. It's relatively more updated. So um, anyways, let's get started, shall we? So the next link is going to be the downloads page here at Anarchy, on, uh, Anarchy Online Universe, an amazing resource site that has a lot of good information guides, things like that. And what we're going to do is download the files that we're going to use today. So the first ones we're going to start with maps. And so you got the Shadowlands map here. And the crazy thing is this was recently updated 2022 here. Uh, and keep in mind, Anarchy Online hasn't had any new content injected into it for quite a while, but people are always updating and making things better. Like you can see here, uh, Colossal Suggestions. So they you know, improved it basically based on that, which is really cool. So we're just gonna click this and download that, which you can see that's happening down there. So we're gonna close this and then we're gonna download the Rubicon map now. Uh, and basically these maps give you more details, more information. They look better, I, in my opinion. It's pretty darn cool. So um, here it's pretty simple. You just scroll down. Both pages have instructions on how to enable these and these are done in game, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother with that. We're gonna do a video on it so you don't have to. Now I always recommend downloading it through the Google Drive at this time. That might change because um, you know, if for some reason it doesn't work, you can grab it here, but it just I think as far as I know, goes back to the Google Drive anyway, so might as well click the first link. And then over here, uh, what you do is you go to the top right and you hit download, and then you download anyways, and there you go, start downloading that right away, which is pretty darn awesome. So we're just gonna close all these up, and then we're gonna go back here, and the next thing what we're gonna do is download the skins slash GUI, and the one we're gonna do is an autumn one here. I think this is one of my favorite ones. It's the one I decided. Uh, but either way, we'll just go and click that and it'll take you to this fancy web page, which also has lots of information. So you got change logs, what to do, how to install it, things like that. So the two downloads you have to get here is the core package here. And uh, we'll go ahead and download that, which is done. And then you get to pick a theme and a preview here. I've chosen to go with the dark one today. I think it looks great. And that's the one I would like. So there you go. Well, I got those all downloaded. Now what we can do is just right click this um, and we're just gonna go show folder. This will just show you your whole downloads folder here. And I cleaned it up. I, I threw everything into an old one just for you guys. And we can just minimize all this and make my life easier and make this a little smaller. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna launch Anarchy Online. So uh, you can right click the, you know, I'll open it on the desktop if uh, you have one for Steam and stuff or open it in Steam. You should know how to open the game. Anyways, uh, basically once the patcher is done, you're ready to play, go to settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to GUI here and we're gonna go and replace the default here, text here with ND capital GUI. I don't know if it has to be, but I, I would assume so, especially older games, but ND GUI. And then what we're gonna do is open the skins folder here. And we're just gonna go through these guys one by one. So let's do the core first. And we're gonna just drag and dump it in here. And then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna do the theme version. So this gives us a cool dark theme. And we're gonna replace it on top of that. Now I assume you have to have a theme. I don't know what happens if you launch it without a theme. You can do it for fun. But if it does break, it's probably because you didn't select a theme. So keep that in mind. That is it. That is as easy as it was to install that. 
you click OK, and it's done. Now, it's a little bit more complicated, not massively complicated, but to go ahead and install the um, maps, you're going to have to go into the actual folder. This was in your app data and this linked to it directly. So I'll show you on Steam, and I'll show you how to do it on uh, the regular install, the standalone. So on Steam, you just go to your library, you right-click, and you go to Browse Local Files, and boom, this is where we want to start at. Um, so I'm going to close that. Actually, I'll leave it open. What we're going to do for you standalone guys, you're going to see the same thing. So Steam, once they open up the folder, you can continue on there. So what we're going to do for you standalone users not using Steam, go to uh, Local Disk. We're going to go to Funcom. It's where you installed it, but I assume you have it in here. I tried this out. It didn't work. I'm going to delete that. Um, I don't think I know how to use it. I was just trying to make my life easier. Um, <laughs> by the way, don't use your passwords on third-party things like that. Risks, you know. Uh, but anyways, Anarchy Online. So Steam, you can follow along here now. It's exactly the same look here. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go to CD Images. We're going to go to Textures. We're going to go to Planet Map. And then we're going to open up the map. So... Uh, this guy already has a map in here. I don't know if it's because it was his, I guess it was his original map and they added it in, but this is an updated version, obviously, anyway. So we're going to just take this. We're going to say replace everything. Perfect. So we're just going to go back on here and then we're going to grab this SL map. Now the SL map is going to be different because, well, Shadowlands uh, and it wasn't included in here. Um, I think this Shadowlands map was okay-ish, but this is even better. It just adds so much details, and I'll show you that in the game. And that is it. We can close everything completely here now, and then you can launch the game, and uh, I'll meet you in the game to do the next settings here. And there we are. So we're in the game now. So we're just going to close all the, the, the spam when you log in. Now this is a character I haven't played in ages. It's like level eight. Um, basically, you're gonna you can play with all your settings here. Some settings might have already carried because I might have logged on this or whatever. But basically, you're on the default everything here. So I guess the first thing is to check out the map. So you can hit the P key here, and you can see the map here. We can zoom in, and it gives you an idea of the details that you're seeing. So here we are in Borealis. The ma default map is actually very legible, easy to read, and it's got a lot of good information. Now, if we go ahead and change this, we can go to the eye at the top here, and then we're going to select the map here, and then we can do, uh, for example, actually, I think we were already on the right map. Were we on the right map? Select map, default planet map. Actually, I'm not even sure now. Anyways, we can do select map, and let's do two times. Oh, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, there's a lot more details there. So we can go select map and then do the 1x here. So this is how you change your maps. And this is the same in Shadowlands. As far as I know, I will double check and go there for you guys anyways. But uh, you can even do the uh, the old Dove map here. This one used to be actually the map I always used just because it was so basic and simple because it's just it, it's like easy to read. It was so high tech. It was really cool at the time. Uh, but these days, I definitely would use this map just because it gives a lot more information. And, you know, if you want to zoom in, obviously, you have the two times version, which helps you out. But it's pretty zoomed in. I don't I don't want to do that unless if I had an issue seeing, like, a piece of detail on the map, for example. So, which is pretty cool. So let me show you um, the Shadowland map, too. I'll go to, uh, yeah, they don't have it over here. It's been a while, but uh, I'm used to it. What it used to be over here, it ain't here. So we got to go to uh, ICC, I believe. By the way, I wanted to just show you like how awesome the new client is. It looks great. It's you know the world's a little bit more brighter. It's a little bit more cleaner, and visually it just looks awesome. There's more details. Like you can see more details on certain weapons. Not this one, but some of the newer ones that had to get dumbed down basically look better in the new client, which is really cool. Okay, my friends, so we are here in the Shadowlands. Oh, let's just click everywhere but where we're we, we supposed to. And so this is the details you have in the Shadowland map. And I mean, the details are pretty damn cool. Like, really cool information, but we can definitely get more details on there easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the eye again. We're going to select the map, and there you go. So you got the wide version and the normal version. Well, let's do the wide version because that sounds cool. So look at this. They even have a little map here for the plaza, which rocks. And then I think we're supposed to, are we supposed to go up or down? Up, I guess. 
the details on this. I didn't realize it was so... Can we zoom in? Oh, interesting. That's for that. Oh, that is cool. I didn't realize there were so many details. Now, I wonder what the the other one looks like then, the normal version. Okay, I think I'd like this one more. Uh, I feel like maybe that's for people with like the big wide screens, but look at the detail information in here. Yeah, lots of details. You got this zoom in one. Basically, it just gives a different layer so you can see other information and basically a little less confusing as well, which is cool. And then you got even another zoom in here, which basically makes everything bigger. And I'm assuming the next zoom in is the same thing again, except yeah, this version. So really freaking cool which i like a lot okay so that's the maps taken care of um there might be other additions that you can do to the game like maps like that but i think overall that would explain you know most of what you need now we have the gui here and it's all customized here now there is another customization you can do and let me show you here that spot okay so oh i'm gonna have to turn this on display and flip them around there you go <laughs> So there was this command prompt tool, basically a bat file within the NDGUI again, if you went back and opened the skins uh, location. And if you double click this, it will run you through. You have to click more information and run because it's just telling you, you know, there could be something wrong with it. It isn't, but uh, for safety, it's better to, you know, check. Uh, so there's a control center layout, raid window layout, raid bar size, nano icon borders, info window uh, font size, text uh, color scheme basically lots of information you can go through here so you can do menu bar bottom left bo uh, bottom right things like this you can basically customize this as much as you want now you probably shouldn't have the game running in the background at the time but i wanted to show you that there is this special customization that you can do i've never done it myself eventually maybe i'll want to do it but i have no need right now but i wanted to show you that okay back in the game now so the best key to hit is f10 here expand this one wide open here and uh the things i like to set right away uh in this now this must have saved all over because i was playing around with this so if we go to the control center here i like to get rid of all this fade i hate fades i don't like how you know it fades and then you put your mouse down there and then it all fades again chat window's different um, we can set a customization there, but I like to just remove the fade, set these two to 100%, and that way nothing goes and fades here. The other thing I like to do in the control center, I believe, is the mini toolbar. Now, some of these are going to be rep repetitive because they're going to be repeated, I guess is a better word, because they're down here as well, but I like it here. So this lets you open up all your different windows here, which is really good. I like it. It's something simple, and that's what I enjoy. If you do pin windows, by the way, they're not supposed to fade, I believe. Yeah, so when we play over here, this won't fade anymore. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically that's usually the settings I do. And then, of course, uh, just to let you know for video settings uh, on the new client, the old client works well, but it's pretty similar. Uh, you can see everything I do here now. I don't have these set for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they don't even matter on here. Just because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't use compressed textures. That's usually if you have memory issues, things like that. But I don't think that's an issue. Uh, wait for VSync. I don't think I'm probably hitting as much FPS. Uh, maybe I am. Um, there you go. Off-screen surface technology. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that blurs everything. I'm not sure if it does. Or maybe that's on the uh, vanilla client. And then you got your effects. I enable everything. You got your environment. I turned on the commercial billboards. I don't think they have those anymore. The Back in the day, if you played Anarchy Online, they used to do uh, Alienware commercials and things like that. It was actually freaking cool. Uh, it was a lot of fun. But I'm not sure if they do any of that anymore. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I have, of course, maxed out all my bars so I can see everything kind of nice and far. Um, and there was oh, there was one more thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, so if we go to controls and camera, I like to usually use the no bobbing. So if you see right now, we kind of bobbing uh, or sorry. No, there you go. Yeah, I like to check that. So see if you look up here, just look up here. See how we're kind of whoop, whoop, bouncing around. I like to use the no bob camera and it's nice and smooth. It also makes encoding much nicer for you guys. So when it bounces up like that, it causes the encoding to be a little bit more taxing and you'll see more blurs and things like that in the game. Uh, but that helps fix that. And then basically I can move everything however I want. So a lot of times uh, in the past, at least, I like to bring my bars down here. 
and then you can also add more bars in here I don't even remember how to do that. I think that was one of these menus. This is the part where I'm going to have to figure that out, obviously. It probably is under F10, to be fair. Um, oh, there's an NDGUI uh, settings as well. Oh, that is so cool. Enable and auto hide. Oh. I wonder if the other thing, if it works. Show quick. Yeah. Quick options button. So added a check mark. What's that? Oh, look at that. That's cool. Auto AFK, things like that. Well, that's neat. So there's there's even options within options. And then you got, oh, soft menu. Yeah, I think I played with this before. This is actually pretty useful. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know how to. Oh, it was down there. <laughs> I think it's for this. So you can use this for different looks. So you can you can set them up to different ones. I'm not sure how to change it. I'll have to figure that out again. But uh, yeah, so you can see off there. Oh, there you go. Oh, there it is. There's the profiles, I guess. Weird. Interesting. I'll play around with this. I have to definitely learn it again, but uh, very cool. And then uh, down here, um, we can go and customize this. I think you just, yeah, right click. You can do different customizations here. So we can edit, uh, subscribe, chat configuration. So you can go through all the chats, maybe ones you want to hide and disappear. Um, then there's, I think you can, I see visualization, but uh, you got borderless. I don't think you can do that because we're doing something wrong right now. Auto fade window, probably going to get rid of that because I just hate it doing that anyways. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Oh, you know why? It's probably because these are within each other. So you have to, yeah, do you just, there you go. It's been so long since I've done any of this. It's just, it's kind of funny. There you go. So I think if you have this window, for example, separated now, and we do visualize, we can do borderless. There you go. So you can't move it around now. You have to go back to visualize and normal, but then you can, you know, set this up wherever you want and change it however you want. So those are some customization options for you guys. I'm very, very rusty. I just, basically the video was to show you how to add those in there and then I'm just going in a little further into this. Now I wanted to show you one more thing for you guys who are wanting to use the new client and you're crashing a lot. I wanna show you something that might save you. Okay, so we're back into the launcher here. What you're gonna do is go to settings and under visual, basically you wanna make sure this is set probably to your regular, uh, your predefined resolution here. And what you wanna do is check run in window and borderless as well. You can change these settings if you like too. I wanna make sure I get the best looks as possible obviously, and that's it. And basically when you run it in border uh, mode or window mode, you probably don't even have to do borderless. I've, obviously I want border, I wanna fill the screen, right? Like it's full screen. But basically when you're running it in borderless mode, it tends to be much, much more stable. Like I've been messing around with this for a few hours, just playing around with things and testing things out. And I haven't had a single crash, which that's the whole point. You don't want to crash. And as far as I know, some of the biggest uh, users, like the biggest, you know, people who make content for Anarchy Online and the people who play this quite a bit, I, as far as I know, they're using the new client just fine. Um, I'm sure some people who use, you know, lots of multi-box and things like that, the old client might be better for some optimizations. I'm not sure. But overall, I haven't had issues. I mean, this is 2024 now. I'm assuming most people can enjoy the new client with most of their you know computers and if not you can always go back to the old client so anyways i hope you've enjoyed this video i just wanted to make a short video it's kind of turned into a slightly longer video um as you can probably assume i'm going to be starting a let's play series i think i'm going to make a shade yeah i'm going to be crazy make a shade level it up have some fun there um, but uh, either way i hope you will follow along watch our new series coming out and i'm hoping this video helped you out because I remember in 2016 when I last played Anarchy Online, I did not make a little guide on how I customize my UI or at least popped up my UI the way it is. And then people were like, oh, how did you do this and that? And uh, by the time they asked, I wasn't playing at the time. I felt really bad. So I thought maybe I'd make a video ahead of time showing you how I do these changes and that way people understand them right away. Either way, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.